a string or in a tail out of this section here. Very slow moving water. Brush pile to the right. What I want to do is zoom in way up there. See where we have the falls. Now I want you to see where the current change is. Chances are, if there are any fish in this water right here, they're going to be up there near that current change waiting for the food source. A little too slow back here, but occasionally you'll see, you will see trout in the slow water. But the better water is right here, guys. So I'm going to work this tail out by the brush pile before I move up too far because I could spook the fish. And ideally, right there is where I want to be, right on the scene of that water, right there. Okay, we're going to talk about reception of water for a minute. Okay, so you see this little fall here. You see the little ripple, little run out. You see a little eddy and the water current in the seam is right there? That's where you want to fish at. That's where we want to catch fish at, right where that seam is, because that is a food lane, my friends. Here we are again, I'm moving my way up. You see that little fall? And look at that little pool in that back area right there. That water swirling. So if this water has risen, and there are any trout whatsoever right there, obviously, they're going to be near the bubbles and the tail out. So, I'm going to take a little risk here, and I'm going to stealthily approach this section and just dab a fly over there, and let's see if we hook up. So here we are again, at another fall. We get a little bit of water here. Now, I'll fish the tail out of this first. But more than likely, your fish are going to be up here by the seam of where that fall is, right to the right of the bubbles. Uh, somewhere over here near the rocks and cover. So, let me show you what I mean. Up close to the right of the seam there, and then I'll fish a little to the left there as well. Let's check it out. Right there, right below that patch. 